with all the conference movement and the off season, all the realignment is finished officially. You know, everybody's in their new conference. The Big Twelve probably might be have the most Paris uh, parity in the league. Uh, it's Coach, I man, I got the stat guy with me. What's going on, stat guy? What's going on, Coach? Hey, man, we're here talking about Big 12 uh, football. We're talking Arizona Wildcats today, man. Do the Arizona Wildcats have a chance to win the Big 12? Let's get into yeah. it. The fanatic. But we keep it 100. Keep it real. That's the only way we know how to be. Talking that sports talk. You know what I'm saying? Straight out of South Carolina. Oh, stay. Hey, six, yeah. four. Yeah. P. F-A-N-A-T-T-I-C The fanatic where we keep it OG We talking sports so I call what All right, man, welcome into the fanatic on the fanatic sports network Where it's Coach I, got my guy the stat guy, man Listen, we here talking college football previews, that's what we do If you're interested in live streams, man We do a live stream on Saturday night, Saturday night snap count This Saturday we will be talking Big 12 conference preview we bring in content creators. We got a panel of eight content creators that rotate in and out, representing all the conferences. We do have a Big 12 representative as well, so make sure y'all tune into that, man. Hey, it's getting close to football season, man, and I just want to let you know, man, go to SeatGeek. $20 off your first purchase First purchase if you use code FANATIC SPORTS. That is code FANATIC SPORTS on SeatGeek. Man, you might as well save some money on that first game uh, that you're going to go to this season, man. So don't forget that. And if you're new to the channel, man, listen, we talk college football all the time. And we talk college football for all the conferences. So, hey, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, man. Let's go ahead and jump into this thing. Stat guy, we back in the building, man. Season preview for the Arizona Wildcats, man. What's your initial thoughts on the Arizona Wildcats? Man, the initial thoughts is what is life going to be like after Jed Fish? Off to off to the big bad Washington Huskies. Um, really a shock, but I guess the one the one thing I took from that is with how people's rosters have been decimated by the transfer portal, the fact that they did not get absolutely raided, even by him taking mm. his own former players. I think that Arizona might have won the offseason just from that standpoint alone. Hey, I'm with you, man. Uh, the fact that they was able to talk uh, players like uh, Takari Davis, I hope I'm saying that right, uh, cornerback, it's really good. Uh, he talked him out of, he had entered the portal and he came mm -hmm. back. So, and they got one of the best returning uh, quarterbacks in the nation, definitely in the Big 12 in North of Fita. So I'm interested to see what kind of things, uh, you know what I'm saying, that Arizona can do this year. All right, man, let's jump into the talk about that 23 and 2023 schedule, man. Uh, Arizona went 10 and 3, lost to Mississippi State, USC, and Washington. Listen, they finished on a seven game win streak, beating and then uh, beating OU in the Alamo Bowl. I know, you know, OU fans, calm down. I know you say you got people missing. I'm pretty sure Arizona has some seniors that didn't play or something. I don't know. All I'm saying is you can use bowl season to kind of get a gauge of who's going to step up in the next season uh they lost a close game to colorado at boulder they get colorado this year uh at home so any that 2023 stat guy i mean arizona i think they kind of came out of nowhere i don't think anybody was uh kind of looking at arizona to do what they did no and then you look they start the season off with mississippi state who heading into the year was an absolute dumpster fire right. get that game at home and lose Right. And if you after after that first Saturday, if somebody would have told me this Arizona team was going to win ten games, I would have been taking all their money. Um, <laughs> but they like it. It was kind of like a slow thing. They just slowly it felt like week in and week out they were getting better. Then they started getting some national TV games, and you could just see the excitement and the atmosphere around that program build week in and week out until it finally just took off. Big fast man, and they hey, they were actually playing a lot of hard nosed football, man. I feel like uh, Arizona at one point I was like, hey, man, they had mathematically they had a shot to get to the you know the Pac 12 conference. I will say, I think the Pac 12 conference uh, last year with the, the quarterback play that they had, I feel like top to bottom they had the deepest com competition in inside within their league compared to other leagues where it's more like you know two or three teams that was at the top fighting for the spot but in the pac 12 arizona was one of those teams that's in the mix man so now let's look at the 2024 schedule man and uh we can talk about so we'll, and then we'll talk about some returning players who could help uh arizona this year 
Um, so let's look at the 2024 schedule. The 2024 schedule, man, listen, they get New Mexico at home. They get North Arizona at home. Then they travel to K-State. They get, they get a week off. They go to Utah, Texas Tech at home, and at BYU, that Colorado game October 19th at home, West Virginia at home, at UCF, Houston, at home, at TCU, and Arizona State, the rivalry game at home. Now, those four uh, games that I got, stat guy, that at K-State, at Utah, Colorado at home, and at UCF, I think those are going to be the toughest games on their schedule. Um, I agree with you. The first thing that jumps off the page to me is, man, you couldn't ask for two better bye weeks, right? right? You get a bye week in between two ranked games on the road, and then you get a bye week after having to travel all the way across country to UCF. Like, man, the Big 12 was definitely looking out for Arizona when they were jotting this thing down. Big fast, man. And when it comes to the schedule and trying to win a conference title, make the playoffs and contend for national titles, I tell people, yeah, you got to have coaching. You got to have players and talent, but you also need the schedule. Sometimes you need the schedule to be in your favor. And I think out of the ones that some of the big 12 teams this season, that might be buying for the conference title and that playoff spot because this year's 12 teams, man, don't forget that the winner of the big 12, regardless of the record, goes to the playoffs there's no more leaving the big 12 out or anything like that so i think at k-state that's one of the contenders utah at utah that's that's one of the contenders i actually got colorado as a you know somebody that might be a sleeper and could spoil some seasons and maybe even make it there we'll see uh when we take a look at in that video but at ucf like you say that 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 uh bye week coming off of UCF, that is going to be crucial because going to UCF is, is uh, it's no joke. First of all, the distance itself, and then they got KJ Jefferson over there at UCF under Gus Malzahn. And uh, I think that's one of the games that to look forward to, man. So let's take a look at those returning players, man. Those returning players, who's going to help out the team stat guy with that schedule? Listen, again, Arizona's got a shot to make it to the, the conference title, win it. And possibly, and like I say, possibly win it and be in the playoffs. Yeah, you you look, they're returning six starters on both sides of the ball. Um, you look at them returning 70% of the offensive production, 62% of the defensive production. Um, on offense, it starts with the best friend duo of Noah. Um, Fafita. Fafita mm -hmm. at quarterback. And then obviously the wide receiver, McMillan, who honestly – I don't know how the real media is looking at him, but to me, he's definitely a dark horse to take home the Blitnikoff this year. He's definitely one of the top wide receivers in the country. Big facts, man. And Noah Fafita, I think, uh, I think it's a clear cut, you know, you got top three, I would say. And maybe I, I don't want to leave anybody out, but in my mind, top three quarterbacks in the Big 12, Shador, Noah Fafita, and Cam Rising, if Cam Rising stays healthy. Of course, you got Jalen, um, what's his name? Jalen Daniels at uh, um, Kansas. Kansas. If he hasn't been able to finish the season, but if he can stay healthy, he's in that talks too. So having Noah for feature man for the Arizona Wildcats is definitely going to help. Is there a player that you think uh, returning that maybe needs to step up, possibly? Um, not necessarily step up. I we talked about it earlier. As far as the as far as winning the transfer portal, not getting just absolutely raided. But bringing Davis back after being in the portal, I think was the biggest key of the offseason. He's going to lead that secondary. He is the leader of that defense. And so bringing him back, he's a ball hawk. I think that just kind of solidified that, hey, we're, we're about to compete for the Big 12 this year. Right. And you mentioned, listen, losing Jed Fish to Washington. They bring in the new coach, and he coached at San Jose State, correct? Yeah, Brett, um, Brett Brennan. He, he has ties to Arizona. Um, he was a grad assistant at Arizona back in 2000 under Toomey, who's the Arizona all-time head coaching wins leader, and then was an assistant coach for him at San Jose State before eventually getting the head coaching job at there. His brother played at Arizona. His wife went to Arizona. So I think it's a really good move as far as bringing somebody in that wants to be there and just loves the community and the school. Okay, before we get out of here, man, we're going to do a little win game with this schedule with Arizona, man. Uh, of course, if you don't know what win game is, uh, you look at the win totals. 
you go through, and I don't know what Vegas says right now, so uh, uh, I'm pretty sure it's already out there. So Arizona fans, let us know what you think uh, the, the floor is, how, how what's, what's the least amount of wins acceptable, and what the ceiling is, what you think this team is capable of. Uh, you get a you get a win. So for a win, you get a point. For for a toss up, you get half. And of course, if we think you lose, you get zero. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. New Mexico stat guy. Uh, of course, I got that as a win. Win. North Arizona, I got win. Win. At K State, uh, because this is on the road, I'm gonna give them a toss up. I think K State is definitely gonna be one of those tough games, as I got outlined right here. So I'm gonna give them a half right here. So I'm at two and a half. I'm giving them a half as well. Okay, and then you get a week off to prepare for the Utah Utes. Go to Utah, you know, saying it's hard to beat Utah at home. Cam Risen's early in the season. We'll get to see, you know, a couple of games of him to see if he's back and uh, in full effect. So uh, I'm going to give him a half, though, at Utah. So I'm at three. And see, I'm actually giving him a half, and my reason is they've been there before. It's not like Kansas State where it'll be a new environment. They're both in the Pac-12 together, coming to the Big 12. Um, it'll be a familiar environment, um, so I will give him a half. But depending on the Cam Rising situation, if he's not playing, Arizona should probably win that football game. But I'm at I'm, three. I'm, I'm with you on that. So we're both at three. I got him winning, uh, beating Texas Tech, so that's four. Right there, win. I got him beating uh, BYU at BYU, that's five. See, I gave him a half there. There's just something about going to Provo. Just something about going to Provo scares me. Um, so I'm at four and a half. Okay. Now going into the Colorado game this year, this this game last year was only a three-point game. I know everybody remembers Colorado being four and eight, but this was a three-point game. So Colorado, it was at Boulder, though. Uh, they lost 34-31, if I'm not mistaken. I think this would be closer, uh, you know, this is closer than, you know, people might think. Uh, we'll see how Colorado fares on the road in the Big 12. I'm going to give uh, Arizona um, the win here because they're at home. So I'm at six. And then I'm giving them a win as well, putting me at five and a half. All right. And then I got um, West Virginia coming into the house. They got a good quarterback in green. Uh, but I just think Arizona would be too much for them. I got them at seven here. Give me the win, seven. All right. You're at six and a half. Six and a half. You're, you're yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, then they go to UCF. I got a half at this one. Uh, traveling all the way across country to UCF, I think Gus Malzahn is going to be able to do something with KJ Jefferson. So I got him at seven and a half here. Yeah, I do. I, I think UCF is going to be better and be able to compete and maybe play spoiler a little bit. But I think Arizona is just going to be too much. I'm giving them the full win at UCF. All right. So we're both at seven and a half. And then they, they get a much needed week off after a six game stretch. And then they take on Houston at home. I think they will just be too, too uh, better than Houston. So I give them a win right here. So I got them at eight and a half. Same. All right. And then going to TCU, I think they'll beat TCU there. I think they're just the better team. So I got them at nine and a half. I got them winning that game as well. All right. And then finishing with the rivalry against Arizona State. Now rivalry games, you never know what's going to happen. Uh, I'm going to give them a half here just because it's the uh, rivalry game. So I think that puts me at 10 wins. And well, I I like to believe in the rivalry, but Arizona State's just not a good football team right now. I'm giving them the full win and giving them 10 and a half. All right, there you have it, man. We gave what we thought might happen. If uh, you're watching the video, you're an Arizona fan, let us know what you think uh, the record might be. Check Vegas to see if we're close. I don't know. I'm pretty sure Vegas probably has Arizona at – probably nine, nine and a half wins. I gave him 10, stat guy gave him uh, 10 and a half. Don't forget to catch the Saturday Night Snap Count live stream this Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern time where we'll have our content, other content creators join us and talk full Big 12 preview. Uh, it's the new Big 12, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Arizona can go in there and uh, there's a, it's, it's up for grabs, to be honest with you, especially with Texas and Oklahoma le le uh, leaving. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for the stat guy. I'm Coach I. We're out of here. Peace. We got it jumping like it's that valley. Yeah. I call yeah. my dogs out the pound, let's go eat. Turn on the fan at it, yeah. let's have a debate. Yeah. Who really hold down the southeast from state to state? What team hungry gonna eat everything up off they plate?